Our young 17-year-old chieftain of Vestvolt has taken his first steps into a greater political landscape and firmly asserted his iron fist up the ass of his first neighbor, ripping out his innards and taking the gold for himself. But at such a young age, he still has so much to prove and plenty of neighbors to stomp on to prove it. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 3. I didn't think that's where I was going to go with that, but that's where my improv brain apparently decided to go. And I just said, you know what? Just go with it. Our brave, ambitious, but calm leader has a lot to prove still. Freshly married, having just murdered the parents of his newfound courtier, the land of which he stole from right under him, is his. But he still needs an heir. So I'm hoping him and his uh, soon-to-be wife, or uh, soon-to-be uh, lover, or what have you, eventually uh, have a child. They are both quick, so there's the opportunity for, them, for the child to be quick as well, which gives a nice little boost. In the meantime, this little slice of land that we've taken is likely going to be rowdy. Unhappy that we are, have taken them. So if we click on it, you can see that one of the stats appears control. This measures the grip the government has on the population of a county. It is crucial, especially for, especially for collecting taxings and holdings. So we have a zero control. They're absolutely pissed that we took them over. They have no interest in playing along. So that's only going to increase at 0.4 a month. And right now we take no money from them, nor do we get a full percent of their levies. We only get half. So we're going to go to our council and we're going to go talk to our marshal and say, hey, this area is going to be kind of out of control for a little bit. We need you to go and increase control in the county, please. And we'll go ahead and click on that. And it's going to take him seven years to establish 100 percent of control over the county. And so all that while, we basically told him to go move to Telemark and uh, do our bidding for us. We have a lot over here. We have low county control. Okay, we can... Uh, Rog... My... Yeah. Who is this? My mother? We could marry for an alliance. We could certainly marry for an alliance. Let's see. I don't want to marry ne uh, into Nettings because we want to murder them. So I don't think we want to go there. I think no the further north we go is better. So let's go here. Chieftain of over here. Uh, I can't move this, but you can see it highlighting behind it. Try to hang him. So we'll say, yes, sir. You. You're lustful, shy, and callous. My mom will love it. I don't think we can get a matrilineal, but they'll both gain some prestige. Probably because we gained a little bit of prestige for the family when we took over that place. And we'll send the proposal off and we'll get a little bit of an alliance. Now... We have the counties in order to create our duchy, the Duchy of Viken, which includes this county that we don't have yet. Because we have two of the three or three of the four, um, we, could, we could pay the gold when we have it, 125. And uh, we could claim that we are the duke of that area and we'll become a Jarl in, in our case. Um, we'll gain prestige for doing that and we'll have a reason to go to war with them um, on top of the many reasons we already have. All right. I want to unpause for a mere moment. I want to wait for my mother's proposal to go through. We have an alliance now. Perfect. I would like to go to war soon and start picking the lands free from the clutches of our neighbors. However, I think in the meanwhile, since we don't have a lot going on and peace is kind of being established as we assert control over an area, I'm going to take our military as before they get bored, raise them as raiders, and as soon as they're all raised up, we are going to go raiding our new, our neighbor over here. To let him know exactly what his plans are in store. We're calm, certainly. We're not mad at him for any particular reason. But we're brave and, and overall we are ambitious. And being ambitious is what drives us. So, it's just like sieging. We head over there, but it's a little bit faster. Uh, Gare heeded my summons. Oh, this is somebody we're looking for for a champion. A 13. It's not great. He's a... Is stubborn, generous, and craven. We may, oh, we have another one in, in our court as well. We're going to take a look at these champions after. But we're going to finish this out. We started hostilities for five months with them by, by doing this. And we took some gold. We took 15 gold from them. We'll march down to the next settlement they have. They only have two. After we're done raiding them completely... We'll go home with our ill-gotten gains. We'll go ahead and speed it up. 
The settlement of Ot Runes, an important stronghold in Greater Agdeside, has fallen to my raiders. We have run the vast tracts, we have the run of vast tracts of land, and many of the quivering subjects and shining treasures of Chieftain Kijovdiv to choose from. Yeah, I definitely said that right, don't question. The troops stand ready, awaiting my command to give them to my direction. So we can do nothing and spend piety, um, how, or we can, uh, bring me b bounteous plenty. We gain, the city gains recently ransacked for 20 years. Raiders will find nothing more to take here while fear of their return keeps the peasants in line. They'll like us more. And development progress changes by 40%, so they're gonna, plus 40, but so it's gonna take slower to build things. We'll gain gold and prestige. Bring me bounteous a plunder. And now, uh, we're gonna end up going back, it looks like. Hopefully they run. If not, we're gonna be fighting them. This could be bad for us. I do wonder if it's better... Now nah, we're gonna be fighting them one way or another. How many champions do I have? Enough? Here, I'm gonna take you... ...and you. I wish I could force them. Uh-oh. Alright, let's see what happens. So we're gonna go into fighting mode here, and we already have a disadvantage, I think, because of the terrain. Trying to click on it. There we go. Yeah, bad start. We have numbers, but that's it. Uh, our counselors have died. Two of them. This is not going well. And, uh, let's see. My marshal has been wounded, and the injury runs deep. I fear that his body is not strong enough to fight this on his own. I feel death lingering by his side. There's nothing I can do. We're getting absolutely destroyed right now. This is not... Not good. Unless we have an incredible roll, yeah, we're gonna lose. Champion has arrived. Recruited, recruited. Counselor slain, counselor slain. Helgi has died. We're gonna run. I think we're gonna lose everything we just got. We survive, luckily. We learn our lesson. A harsh lesson. But we learn it. We're gonna appoint my wife as the court physician. So she helps us out in healing. We lost our treasure. Um, and in the meanwhile, we're going to go ahead and disband our army. So we gain a little bit more gold. And now, do we have a marshal? We do not. I'm going to send you there, and I'm going to have to put somebody else. Ooh, boy. Uh, 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 uh. We need people in our court. That that cost us a lot. Our brave and ambitious decision to go show them what's for and press our luck cost us incredibly dearly, especially marching into them like that. I thought we could do it. The cockiness. The cockiness got me. Uh, we just have to have somebody in this spot for now. Our chancellor, huh? All right, spy master. I'll recruit you to court so you can be my chancellor. <laughs> you are a terrible steward, but at five, I just need somebody collecting taxes. So our, our unfortunately, our council has been reduced to loyal soldiers instead of inf influential and important people um, that have actual skills. That's not very good. Um... We'll have my wife help with... No, we need court politics right now. I need people to like us. We need to lick our wounds. It's a, it's a lesson worth learning. We're young. We have a long life ahead of us. We'll likely be fine. Let's see if we can make a decision to host a feast. 25 gold, we can host a feast. Uh... I think we get people in our... The vassals like us more? No, I was hoping to get more courtiers. It might work like that. I'm, I might, we might be able to bring in 
more courtiers, but at 25 gold at the rate that we have gold, it, I don't know if that's worth it. Let me see. Do we want to create an arms regiment here? Bowman? It's a 150 prestige to create. Unraised, it's 0.1 a month. Raised, it's 0.3. Yeah. Let's go ahead and spend some prestige and have a bigger army. And let's just lick our wounds. Romance, cats and dogs. The rain is pouring down outside. My charming chief, this ill of us sighs as she looks out the blurred window. How wretched Tun's board can be. I wish I had some days to keep my... I wish I had... I wish I had someone to keep me company during long and dreary days. Is my treasure a cat person or a dog person, I wonder? Fear not, I'll be by your side. She gets a pet cat or a pet dog. But I don't know if she's a cat person or a dog person. I think a loyal dog would be good. Let's try it. Nope, she doesn't like dogs. I should have known my, 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 my wife is a cat person. Damn it. I should have just stayed with her on my own. All right, two months of hostilities between me and my neighbor. Luckily, he's a Viking, so he doesn't take it too personally. There is no woman lovelier than Chieftess Ilva. In her presence, my words often fail me. None of my compliments ever do her justice. Perhaps a careful draft, drafted poem. Uh, I have a feeling poetry, poetry is not my strong suit. However, youthful vigor, uh, you know, I'm not stupid enough to think that this character wouldn't think he's good at everything he does, so... Youthful vigor, man. I can see, look at his face. His face screams, I'm good at everything because I'm handsome. Please don't hate me. To the virtuous chieftain Heralder, may your chivalry is what gives meaning to my life. My heart yearns to feel the embrace of your love that I may know the depths of your love. You and I belong together. She's charmed everybody, as she should be. It gave us another t plus 10 to our success chance, but if you remember, this was a 100% chance of succeeding anyway, so it was risking it for no reason. Other than personal pride. I would love to declare wars soon on you needn't. Pregnancy! Yay! Oh. Oh, what's with the sad music? She's pregnant, not dying. I mean, to some, maybe, but... Military's still very much licking its wounds right now. We're gonna have to just let us stay in some peace for some bit. Romance request. Lady Ilva, let me prove my devotion to you in any way you deem fit. Ilva ponders the request for a while before her face lights up. I have been plagued by nightmares lately. If you are truly devoted to me, you will stand guard outside my chambers and make sure no evil reaches me. Sleep, you will sleep undisturbed. I'll gain sleep deprived for two years. I get a minor health penalty, but she gets well rested and a 20 opinion of me. Or she could get sleep deprived and lose 10 opinion of me. Uh, a broom with my cloak on top can fight nightmares just as well. So same percent stuff, but I don't get well uh, sleep deprived. But there's a chance she figures it out and she gets sleep deprived. Or I will not do any of it. Nah, let's gamble, dude. Listen, I've got a kingdom to run. I'm brave, but I'm not stupid. No one uncovers the ruse. Beautiful. My wife thinks I'm an absolute brave man. In reality, I'm just a genius and I can do no wrong. Don't you dare raid me. The wild hunt. When Chieftain Ilva's husband, Chieftain Heralder, suggested a hunt, I did not hesitate to organize one. I would do anything for a mere glimpse of my pet. Um, can I... Excuse me? Uh, I am... It's me? I'm the husband? I didn't call for a hunt? I am stalking through the underbrush, my... My page at my heel and my hound just ahead. It seems as if it found a trail, then suddenly my concentration is shattered by a woman's scream. Uh, attempt to romance Chieftain Ilva. Send the page was probably just a bird? No. I'm coming for you, my love! Within what must have been a minute, but felt like an hour, I reach a clearing. Ilva's on the ground before me, disheveled and weaponless. Opposite her and just about to strike stands a huge boar. My arrow strikes true and the beast falls to the ground. For a moment, all Ilva can do is stare. But then she stumbles towards me and throws herself into my arms. I need you now my love. Right here, right now. 
Uh, she becomes my soulmate, or we just bang. Uh, we share a kiss. Uh, I want her to be my soulmate, so we're gonna say right here, right now. She's pregnant anyway. I love it. Your glory is widely known. Um, we gained 350 prestige, so our fame actually went up. And now we are distinguished, meaning there's a little bit of a higher opinion of us, and we can actually have an extra champion, which is awesome on the battlefield. Uh, that's fantastic. Oh, and we got a son. He inherited quick. Oh, even better. With the babe cradled in her arms, Chieftess Ilva's gaze meets mine. Her eyes are full of loving devotion. My love, let us name her from Heralder after you. You know what? I'm an egotistical boy. I agree. Done. So we have a son and we have a proper heir now. Heralder Heralderson. Heralder Heralderson in Ingling. Wow, what a, what a name. He's intimidated by me, as he should be straight out of the mother's womb. There I stand with an axe, ready to spank and bare ass. Be afraid, baby. I'll take your land and I'll sleep with your mother. Now we want to go to and, and fight this guy still. Very much so. His eyes have been in our land and now we have a son to him. In, in, in honor of our son, in glory of our son. We could also go to subjugate him, which would run us 500 prestige. Hmm. We would definitely want to call our ally in on that, though, so we don't fail. So let's do it. Let's see what our army's looking like. Just about full again. Are we in de We are in need of another knight. Well, who are you? Your cousin? You're not a great knight, but you're welcome to stay and be that sixth champion. <laughs> I think we're going to declare war. I think we're going to try and subjugate him. It's 500 prestige, but it'll immediately make us more powerful. We could just go in and counter. Uh, we could just go in for a county. Honestly, it might be better because then we can go in again for the county and we wouldn't have to use all that prestige. Let's declare war for a county. I could call in my ally, which I imagine is what this is saying to do. Yep. We'll leave that for now. I want to raise our army. Cradled by sickness? No! Our son is sickly! Oh no, he's likely gonna die. Natural dread minus 20, severe health penalty. Oh, please don't cry, Harold. Not while I'm at war. As, I, as we're about to go fight. We got a new martial skill. Uh, I think what we want... We want to go down this tree for Strategist, because Strategist is just excellent. I don't think... I can't change my focus for another few years. Every five years, you can change your focus. Um, let's let him leave, because I'm going to go for his city. And that's what we want. We're going to siege him down. I will race him. I will race him. Siege race. Overtaxation causes banditry. We're losing with taxes and development growth in Vinglemork. Can you increase control over the city for some reason? I don't know why. Uh, but we're going to hopefully beat him. Oh, my wife is pregnant again? And mercenaries. Who did we lose? Courtier killed in siege. My sickly son was captured. All right, Dick. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to finish sieging you out. And I'm going to go take my, my home back. Actually, yeah, we'll, we'll re-siege our home first. Uh, oh, Ilva! You have been so brave, so strong. Words cannot describe my love for you, and now we have two perfect little children! Who will become my dears, and what shall I call them? A daughter and a son. He's a twin, which means they love each other a lot. Giant and quick. I love it. And then also quick. All my children are becoming quick. Uh, so we'll name you after my father, Haftan, and we'll name you after whoever. You may you go strong. Uh, okay, back to the war here. I think what we're going to do is have her give us chivalry while we're at war here. How much left? All right, we took that back. 
We'll go and attack him. He's gonna run. Which is fantastic, because now we're gonna go siege his other city down. And this is gonna win us the war, ideally. Are you really sieging us down right now? Greetings, Chieftain Heralder Vestfold. Blessings upon you in your house. I have long coveted your lands, only to be denied possession of them. No more. The time has come for me to finally get what I deserve. Rally the troops. We're being attacked by somebody else. All right, first and foremost, bitch, you're mine now. My boy has been freed. We gain you as our ally, and now I have to march back into our lands. And not by as our ally, I'm sorry, we took the county. And we've reached our domain limit. So I think we're actually, for now, have you help manage the domain, which will give me a control of the four that I can handle. And we're gonna march. You, I cannot believe you're attacking me. I'm gonna catch up with you because I'm faster and more well-trained. And we will beat you into the ground. Oops, he's super wounded, that's why he's wearing a mask. Our champion Sven Sturke killed Elglefear. Yeah, we won that fight hardcore. Done pause it, let him run, beat him down. And then we're just gonna chase him. We're just gonna run him down back to his house. And by his house, I mean his, his fort. Low control in counties, right. We need to, once again, we'll send you to control over there. I'm not going to call on our ally. I think we're fine for now. We could always go call on him later. I can't believe we escaped that war unwounded for one. It just shows how good of com combatants our, our hero is. But like, also on the offensive on somebody else. So we're just going to siege you at your ass down, I guess. And you've been raided, so I don't imagine you're going to last very long. You're, you can't siege our town because you don't have enough troops. I took Chieftain's son, Air Friar, hostage during the siege. Fantastic. Uh, before we let him go, um, as punishment for thinking he's opportunistic against our brave and vicious character, we kill him. We gain dread and piety, and he dies. We execute him. And then we go home. We start marching back. And we enforce our demands of peace to the heartless chieftain Heralder. May your humans rot in your living body. I know when I'm defeated. It seems I am left with no choice but to comply. Not only was he, did he lose his son, but he became disfigured in that fight as well. There is no end to the opinions and wants of my son and heir Heralder. Half the time, he's trying to tell me what to do instead of the other way around. At three years old, he's sickly. He gains the trait bossy. Plus one marshal and stewardship. All right. War's over. And home we, we are. So let's disband our army. That went so well. We taught them a lesson, thinking he could do anything to us. We killed his boy as punishment for such. And uh, over here, we took what land we wanted. And soon he'll be ours. We'll also uh, whoop his ass again. But we currently have a truce, so we can't. We have a new lifestyle perk. Um, continuing down this tree to get to Strategist, by the way, uh, we want to make sure we are moving faster. So we're going to get movement speed and a bunch of our skirmishers, archers, spearmen get a bunch of bonuses. We're just going to become very formidable very quickly. We have good money. Not enough to create the duchy yet, but soon. And now that we've got new land, I'm curious if we have better... Better people to put in the place of these uh, terrible, terrible stewards like you. And how about you? You have zero there, huh? Well, we're going to recruit you for three. I'll assign you. I don't, you know, particularly think you're gr the greatest for that. But it's better than nothing. I don't really see a better option here. We kind of have to retreat into a peace time now. And we have to have our wife continuing to help us um, 
with uh, managing our kingdom so we can hold the four titles without causing too much of a problem here. I'm going to go ahead and try and start swaying our concubine. I don't want her to hate me. If she hates me, she might try and murder, uh, murder me. I just don't, but if she likes me too much, she might try to murder my wife. And that could be kind of annoying. I'm also going to go ahead and bump our, our tribal authority to level two. At level one, we basically say, hey, if you're our vassal, you're our vassal. You kind of can do whatever you want. Don't worry about it. We can go all the way up to level four and then it'll give us more and more powers every time we do. But it also will cost us prestige and our vassals will begin to hate us more because there's more laws on them. But if I move up, I can start imprisoning characters and tribal rulers with non-tribal lieges may settle, becoming feudal or, feudal or clan, which is kind of cool. So we're going to go ahead and say yes, pass that law while we have the opportunity to and keep pushing it and pushing our power as we try to unite the lands around us. Hey, our heir did not die. Oh, he was a giant as well, so I was I was real nervous that he might... Be. Oh, no, he's not a giant. I thought he was a giant for some reason. Never mind. Still, Sickly is very, very likely to kill. So he's going to be quite the warrior, it looks like. Let's go ahead and give an education. And by education, I'm going to just make my son my own ward. And I'm going to have a hand in how he's raised and what traits he gets. Yeah, we have some low county control. We need more money. I think we're going to raid our neighbor here now. And I think we're just going to go and try and take some money out of their perk pockets and maybe some people that we can sacrifice. Maybe I'm not raiding it. I guess we'll go to this one then. Got some cash there. And we'll see if we can get a raid off here, too. Good, good, good. We got a child. <laughs> I'm so glad we got a kid. That's going to be useful for us when we want to murder him for to our gods. So we got some money and some prestige. Oh, he gets released when we get back. Wait. Oh, he does. I thought, okay. Well, that's fine. We got some money at least. Because now we can create the duchy, which is what I wanted. That's kind of why I did it. So with 125 gold and three of the deserved duchies, we say, you know what? We are now the Jarl of this area. We pay money for some reason record keepers, I guess. And now we are a mighty Jarl, which allows us more champions, which means we want to go ahead and put out another heraldry, but we can't for another three more years. We could also invite claimants, but even cooler is we get a crown. My wife gets a sweet ass crown as well, though. We both get crowns. Neat. That That's it. That and it gives us prestige. Can I go to war with you yet, sir? Oh, my armies are raised. Not yet. We're still on a truce. That's fair. So, we got a little... Um, heads up to let us know that the chiefdom of Skain, all the way down here, for some reason, and I imagine it's because our mother, uh, we are fourth in line to inherit. So I want to see why. Vassal in the Jarldom, he's a vassal. Spouse. Nobody that we know. Okay, then his heir is here. Somewhere in the family line, we have a claim to this place. We're fourth in line, so it's likely not going to happen. I'm not going to go out of my way to try and get it. The amount of strings we'd have to try and pull in order to even have an attempt at that would be insane. So I'm not going to bother. We might march through his land simply to go take this county on the other side of him. It would cost us a little piety, but we, we'd have the better troops. 
So let's go ahead and raise our armies here. Just swing out. We just we just raided him. Whoop. To the sensible Jarl of Hivikin, I call you on to honor our alliance. He wants us to join me in the conquest of the Lord of Anglesey, Holder Prince of the Gwynedd. I don't know where this is, dude. Where is this? Way out there. What? No way, homie. I can't. There's just no way in hell. That's so far away. I'm not going out there. It's just not happening. I've got my own war next door that I need to take care of. All right, we swayed Roghilda. Fantastic. Let's abandon it now. I don't want her to do anything else. I don't want her to fall in love with me more. Camp dispute? Another one of those camp disputes is last time. Same thing. All right, well, we're going to jump in. We might get wounded. But let's just do it. We got wounded and gained a little experience. I don't like that, but we did. Did I make you my court physician yet? Good. So hopefully she'll be able to heal me up. We're going into battle either way. I think they're going to try and stop us. No, they're leaving. We captured Chieftain. We're going to execute her. Sorry. But not really. To the gods, it must go. You will not give up, huh? Let's slow it down. Why won't you give up? Is it because I'm too far away from you? Hey, I need you to let me go to war with you. I don't know why it won't let me. So we'll swing home for now. We'll see if his men come back. Because I think as long as it's sieged, I'm going to get a constantly ticking war score. So it's just going to become a matter of time type thing. Another martial perk unlocked. We are just, this fighting is helping us insanely. We'll definitely take the hit and run. So if we ever have to run away, we take minimal losses and we do more damage with our normal troops. Yeah, it's, it's still ticking away the war score. I'm kind of looking for his army to come back so I can strike. Because if I can strike them and win a battle against them, it'll it'll count towards our war score. Yar, your neighbor Yarl Harain has won against the Chieftain Ivar of the Vastmanland. Oh. People is growing, dude. If you raid me, I'm coming to kill you. Yep. Here we go. Get out! Right before you finish the raid. Ooh, we have an advantage here. The battle's going well because we have archers, I think, more archers than they do. Now, the, this, this would be the... Your Counselor Olafar has died. <sighs> the problem where our Counselors are also our soldiers. <laughs> Okay, we're going to recruit you to court. Um, I'm going to put you there and then you here. So we won the fight. We actually beat him back. Okay. Now they're trying to siege their territory back. So we're going to go back. We might be able to win a fight against them as well, which would help out huge, but yep, they're going to try and run. We catch them. They weren't able to escape. They didn't see us coming through the forest until it was too late. We took their 15 gold they got from somewhere else. Our champion is wounded. It's okay. We're winning this fight. 
They're running. We're going to run down as many as we can at the end there. And then we're going to execute our prisoner. This is what happens. This is also what happens when you're young and ambitious. You think killing people like this is fine. 71% that you have absolutely no chance. For now, though, we'll pull our men back just to make sure we do not get caught out in lands that are not our own. You can call your ally. Not going to happen. I know we have low control in counties. I'm also not going to worry about it. My son! We got a, We had another boy. Man, we have a lot of kids now. Also, ooh, he's intelligent! Oh, the, the, cause, so, if you have two people who are quick, you do have an opportunity for one of your children to get the next step up, which is intelligent. That's huge. After your father. No, after an ancestor. Oystein? Oystein and Smog? I like it. If only you were one of the twins. Alright, we wait. There's no way they're going to be able to get out in time, so we're going to try and catch them. I'm going to decline the call to war. I'm just going to win this fight real quick. The sun and air. How much? 50 gold? I need the money more than I need the killing, so I'll say that. I'll take it, and I'll enforce our demands. Oh, he has to wait. I have to wait for him to accept my other offer. He hates me. He's going to hate me even more. Mine. And just like that, that land comes to me. So I'll disband here. Actually, I'll leave them standing for now. We have more than we can carry, so we actually do have to gift our land away. We have to create a vassal. So it's going to go to my firstborn, I think. The, uh, and the bossy and quick boy will grant you the title of none. So it can only go to those who stand to inherit it. So my youngest. I'll give him that one all the way over there. He has to have it. He's charming and quick. Take it. It's yours. It was yours to inherit anyway, so it has to go to you. Uh, we want to get you educated. You are a smart lad. Offer guardianship. Uh, let's see. I'll take over guardianship because we don't have a bunch of smart people here, unfortunately. So I'll be your guardian. Make my vassal my guardian as well. Also my son. Um, I think I'll just kill you. I want to continue. We're going to burn you at the stake. We gain 50 for this one. His faith, Catholicism, is considered to be either hostile or evil by my faith, allowing me to execute him without being viewed as a tyrant. Oh, well, burning him at the stake, unfortunately, for him, but that's okay. Uh, just for that, that last burning of the stake. Um, ooh, excellent. Ah, oh, Counselor fucking died, dude. We actually went up. We leveled up. We became faithful. I love it. We, I can't, I'm, we, everybody's dying. We have so nobody. Once again, we have a bad steward. Ah... Uh, I really think feast is what we have to do, but we are commanding an army right now, so... Down, boys. Let's hold a feast and hope it works. We'll lose some stress. Vassals will like us more. We have to spend 50 gold to do it, though. So after successfully breeding, <laughs> and then ha taking some pieces of land, we are actually in a good spot. Now, this he's become the foolish over here for some reason. Uh, maybe because he's deceitful and wrathful. I don't know what it is that's caused him to get the foolish nickname. But he's next on our list. For now, let's see what this, this does for us. 
feast, a cheery gathering. The guests are gathered in the great hall, lords and ladies from near and far reaches of the realm. The mood is bright and spirits are high as the feast begins. Welcome, friends. No guests, only one guest, but we don't have the money for him. He's got bad stats anyway. The feast is dwindling down and I find myself deep in conversation with my charming mother, Chiefess Rognand Hilder. She inquires about my opinion on the blessings of a of family, a subject she's deeply interested in herself. It's a fascinating subject. She gains 20 opinion of me. She's my mom. She should like me. Uh, I could not care less. She doesn't. I am more interested in you. You grow closer to forming an intimate relationship with your mother. Uh, you know, I'm not. Mm -mm. Nope. Friendship with mom works plenty. She's not a cousin. She's my mom. It is such a joy to see my mother, Chief Dis Aroghilder. Once again, we eat, drink, and sing together as if no time has passed since we parted last. We could have been dining in a barn, and this would never have been uh, the greatest feast I ever had. We have a reinvigorating our friendship, and we lose all of our stress, which is great. Uh, our concubine got knocked up. <laughs> I am writing to inform you that I am with child, to my imposing ex-husband. And it is most certainly yours. Since we were married, when this child was conceived, there is no stain of bastardry. When the babe is born, they will be known as your legitimate offspring. Spring? Yeah, but you're just my woman, right? All right, congrats. I know you were my wife at one point, but that ended the minute I, you know, woke up, basically. How much longer do we have to be in truce, dude? With everyone headed for their respective homes, I am proud to say the feast was a success. I have my wife, Ilva, to thank for much of its success, and I feel nothing but gratitude. Until next time. We gain prestige, and everyone gains 20 opinion. Did we not get anybody in our court? We did not. I hate it. We can invite some claimants. It costs us 350. I'm going to go ahead and throw some invites for some claimants out there. And my wife just gave everybody on my council plus 10 opinion of me. She's wonderful, is she not? I love her. A large woman. You spent 75, you lost 30 opinion of your... Your marshal's average marshal skill led to this terrible idea thing happening. Great. Okay, my wife's prego again. And she had a daughter. Who is just boring. She's a child of a concubine. Eh. Give her a godly name. Thordis. Congrats, Thordis. I might marry you off for an alliance one day. Oh, no. Thordis is sick. God, imagine if she died. She just was born and immediately kicked it. And then my wife had a son who was immediately much better. We'll give him a good Norse name. Butterfur. I like it. We have a guest, and he is not terrible at everything. 30 gold, because you have a claim. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking for people that have good skills here. It's not working out for us right now. We can finally declare war on this guy. We could subjugate him, and I think that's what we're going to do. I think we're just going to move into subjugate him, simply because it's going to be... Uh, we're gonna take the land from him, and, uh, I'm gonna have to create a vassal either way. I mean, I could just take the county and give it to somebody. It'd be less on our piety. Yeah, let's do it that way. Our armies must be raised. I think he was recently raided as well, so his armies might not even be there. So we'll go, yeah, times five. We got another martial perk. War is treating us well. Siege weapon effectiveness. Let's just go with our tactics first. And the siege begins, a seven month siege to end this. He's nowhere to be seen. I gain attentive care from my wife and gain a massive health boost for it, which is great. This guy showed up with the claim. He's got shit skills. I don't care about your claim anymore. 
I don't need the claims. I was just hoping to get better people. To the cold-hearted Jarl Heralder. I have been corresponding with your Chancellor Gear and have been shameful to Oh, God. Our terrible Chancellor made another Jarl mad at us instead of happy with us. Great. There we go with the last few days of the siege. And just like that, we took 15 gold. And we say, give me, give me, give it to me, give it to me. And now we're nice and connected. We're immediately going to handle this, uh, hand this off. Our spy master. He'll become our vassal. He'll hold on to this little small area for us in the meantime. He's not going to be betraying us. He likes us a bit much. And uh, I'm happy with that because it, now we don't have to worry about overly holding uh, things that we can't control. And now we'll disband. And I think it's time to start actually paying attention to our lands. You see, everything has slots and these slots will allow us to make more money. And we need to be making more money. We need war camps and gatherings. You can see the quick bonus that it'll give us. What we really want is uh, taxes. So we want to get up to 75 gold and start building markets so we can start making more money. And the more money we make, the more we can build things that make us more money and so on. Over here, I think markets would be good too. Um, but I think particularly this land type. Automatically gives us a bit more money. So let's just unpause it and let's start making some cash. All right, we got the increased control finally finished off on one area. We'll send them over to the more rowdy area that we just took over. And now, since we have the money, I want to go ahead and build markets in here. It's going to take two years, but money's going to be money. What we're going to want to do is start raiding again, too. Heading north and hitting up these areas to raid might be our best bet for quick cash. And having that money can go a long way. We can also create another duchy. And our son and daughter need a teacher of a sort. You look like you're a good intrigue, so immediately you're going to get sent over there. And then my dear daughter, being quite the steward. I don't think there's really anybody here who can teach you good stewardship. I'll send you with your mother for that one. And we're going to actually attempt to start civilizing our lands a bit. We can start making that money. We'll go from just being a wandering horde of angry people to proper country. But here is where we leave our Heralder. Ten years into his life from when we first picked him up, and he certainly accomplished a lot. He's learning just as much as he continues to move forward. Now we need some cash under our name before we can move any further in our power struggles. As they say in primary school, be kind, don't be a con. Give or take, that's what they usually say. Just be sure to